Oh. But dude, which semester are you in 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 the yeah. uh, university right now? Yeah, in the, semester like, seven. We're both studying medicine, yeah. obviously. So. Semester seven, but I'm actually going through like a bit of a like would I would I should change my career path as well? Like really? I'm kind of yeah, I'm kind of like kind of thinking whether I should try something else. I don't know. It's it's like I'm not I'm not really sure. It's, but you're pretty far along. Yeah, I am pretty far along. So I don't You're know. already past the preclinical stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. When does that end? Like six semester? Yeah, six semester. Yeah. So. So you're getting into the practical. Practical stuff, yeah. But it's, it's kind of one of those things where you know I don't know if I have like the motivation per se. It's kind of hard because like like you got to like study a lot to you know do well in this course. So. Even in the in the yeah, practical e- stuff. Yeah, even the practical stuff. Yeah. So. So the studying doesn't end there. Yeah, it doesn't really end. So I don't know. Kind of, I'm kind of going through a bit of like a life situation where I'm trying to like figure out what I want to do and it's always like a like a tricky situation for everyone you know yeah like sure a lot of people in RSU have the sort of a bit of a crisis like do I should I just continue and spend more years or a lot of people should I try well not a lot I don't know about a lot but I feel I, like a minority know, like, yeah in that probably, category probably a minority but it is it is like it, it is a long course you know it's a six-year course and stuff so it program. Is kind of hard. yeah the program so. yeah it is kind of a... A lot of people don't understand that, like, when you're studying to become a doctor, it's called an MD, which is mm-hmm. its own thing. It's not a master's. It's not a bachelor's. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. Do you have that in North America? Yeah, North America, so we normally have to get a bachelor degree, and then you go to, like, an MD afterwards. But it is a similar degree, like an MD degree. So mm. But you have similar. to get the bachelor's in North America, Yeah, right? you have to get a bachelor's. Yeah. So it is, it is a bit of a different system, but, yeah, it is. I mean, I don't know if it's like the same in Sweden. Yeah, uh, Sweden is going to be the same like here in Latvia. Oh, okay, like okay. you yeah. finish uh, high school and then you can actually go straight to medicine mm-hmm. school to become a doctor. But oh, okay. six years. Interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't see any problem with that, actually. I don't see why you would have to get a bachelor's first. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Like what? what's the point? Yeah, I don't know why. It's, it's a very weird thing. They, they just require more, more education. It's, it's like a... It's, it, People stay in university for a long time in America, like in Canada. It's crazy how much like years of just schooling you have to do before you start working. Yeah. It is kind of, yeah, it's kind of hard for a lot of people. Hmm. And they accrue a lot of like debt from like students, like tuition fees and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, it is, it is kind of difficult and stuff. I hope you enjoyed that clip of the HH podcast. If you want to see another clip, click here down to your left and if you want to see the whole unedited episode click down here to your right and last but not least if you want to subscribe you can do so here in the middle thank you